Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. Kindly, subscribe to my channel, for notifications and updates on my videos. In this, video tutorial, I am going to show you, how to create soundboard or avatar in VC Dial. What is avatar calling? Instead of a live operator speaking directly to a customer on the phone, operator will play pre-recorded sound files back to the customer on the phone. This is useful in many cases, including agents that may understand English speakers, but have thick accents that are difficult to understand by customers over the phone. Often, avatar campaigns are used as qualifier campaigns to dial through bulk leads to qualify them. What are prerequisites required to create soundboard? Number 1, VC Dial Admin Access. Number 2, Sound Files and WAV Format, and it should be 8000 Hz 16 bit mono. I personally use NCH WAV Pad, or Digium Online Audio Converter, check the video description for links. Number 3, Sound File Editor. We need to trim initial silence or any other voice before the actual voice starts. Number 4, Win SCP, to upload bulk audio files. Number 5, Putty to get console access. Step 1, Log into VC Dial Admin page, with admin credentials. Create an user with API only access, and level 8 or 9. We need this user to play sound files via API. Let's jump to my live VC dial server to finish step 1. Well, admin page. Click on admin, login as admin. Then click on the user. Now I'm going to create a user with API access only. I'm going to get a user called avatar. And put a strong password. Okay. Then give avatar a full name. And the user level should be 8 or 9. Click Submit, then make sure this particular user have AP access, then AP only user. Submit. That's it. Now we have created the user called Avatar for AP access only. Now go back to the step. Step 2. Enable Central Sound Control under Admin System Settings. This is required to upload the audio files. Next. Enable soundboard under admin, system settings. Let's jump to my live VC dial server to finish step 2. So click on admin, search for system settings, then search for sound, region soundboard, make sure central sound is active, then enter the IP address of your visitor server, then also enable the soundboard to 1. That's it. Go back down, submit. So we have enabled the audio store as well as soundboard so that we can upload the audio files. Then we can also create the soundboards. Okay, audio soundboards. Now go back to the slide. Step 3 Upload the audio files under admin audio store or bulk upload using WinSCP. Next, sync the audio files by running the below script actually it's not required in most setup if not synced then run this command best practice save your audio files with a prefix a so that you can easily choose your files like the example shown here let's jump to my live vc dial server to finish step 3 okay now go back to the admin page now we are going to upload the audio file. Go to the audio store, choose the audio file. So before uploading audio file, I recommend to convert the audio files. So first I am going to uh, convert an audio file under the intro. The main intro I need to convert to a particular format. Click here. Then as I said, to trim the any silence before, remove the silence. Then save the file, save as. Then I am going to put A1 intro. Then click save. Now it lasts a format. As I said, 8000 16 bit mono PCM and come just click OK. That's it. Now we are going to upload the audio file. Choose A1 intro. A1 main intro. Submit. 
So similar way, I'm going to upload all other audio files in the device. Okay, got it. One more. So right now, I upload audio files. You can check all your audio files here. If these files are not synced to the asterisk database, you can run the particular command. User share is client admin audio hyphen debug x to so that you can get output how many files has been synced and what are the files in between the asterisk and the VC dial. Now you can see two files have been uploaded automatically or with this particular script. Now go back to the slide for the step four. So now we have uploaded audio file. We are going to proceed to the next steps. Step four, creating soundboard. Navigate to admin and click audio soundboard to create our soundboards. Before start creating soundboard, we need to know what layout to be used and menus to be created. Layout, we have two options column and row type. Create menus in a such a way so that agent can easily understand the flow. This is example of column layout. I personally recommend this layout as it's easy to understand by agent and you can explore more audios. This is example of row layout. I personally hate this layout as it occupies whole page. Let's jump to my live VC dial. To finish the step four. The first one, put admin followed by audio soundboards. Click add new soundboard entry. I'm going to put my my avatar. My avatar. My avatar. It can be any name. But this this should be the ID which we are going to use in the further configuration. Now this is the API user which we created in the Step one. So let's see what is the password. Avatar. This is the password. Copy paste. Then submit. So now we create a soundboard. Now we are going to create the menus. So before creating the menus, we need to edit these particular settings. So instead of showing the file name, the audio file name, I recommend to use the name followed by name. Hide the numbers of the audio files and layout column methods on maximum columns, I can be any number, then submit. I'm going to create my first menu in the soundboard. So I put in introduction, submit. Now this is my menu, so I need to rename it again. Click on the introduction, select this radio button, then change this type to header and size of this particular word, submit. Now you can see the topic. So under the topic, I need to add the audio files. Now select this radio button under which I need to add the audio file. Click audio store. Now for the introduction, I created in the A1, A1 main introduction. Submit. So I need to give it name. Main intro. Main intro. Then click submit. So you got that main intro, the audio file playing. Again, I need to create two more audio files with the same menu. So I'm going to add the similar A1. What is the reason? What is the purpose I'm going to call? Submit. Then give it name, purpose. Finish. So these are the button types. Means that the audio files which can be played. Now you can see under the intro, two audio files. Now I'm going to create the second menu. That is plans. What are the plans available which can be played? Now I need to change this plan to a header. So select the header and give a name plans. Finish. Now I can see second heading is ready. Now I am going to add the audio files for this particular menu. What are the plans I created? A1 plan summit. Plans. One. Submit. So you can see plans under plan audio file created. Now again one more audio file I need to add. So another uh, plan is that insurance plan. Submit. I need to put a insurance plan name. Submit. 
So I, I created two uh, IDs. One more heading I'm going to show it this, or I put odd keys. So according to your need, just I edit the uh, requirement, odd keys, submit. So under the odd keys, I'm going to add an audio file. All of the odd keys I added here. Okay, 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 I got it. Got it. Finish. So uh, odd keys under the odd keys I created. So uh, for example, odd keys I forgot to add it as a header. Click on header three. Submit. Now it becomes an header. Now I'm going to add one more audio file. Okay, what are the logs? Logs? Logs is there. Finish. That's it. Now we have three menus. Under the three menus, I have the respective audio files. Great. We have created the sound board. Step five: creating script to display the sound board, which we have created in step four. Navigate to admin page and click script and press add new script. Copy paste this script, make sure to change the soundboard ID to your soundboard ID created in step 4, which I have highlighted here. Check the description for this script. Let's jump to my live VC dial and finish step 5. Click on the script. Sorry, first make sure what is the name of the soundboard which you created, my avatar. Then script, scripts, show script. So for example, I'm going to copy this exact one. Add a new script. My avatar, one, my avatar. It can be any name, my avatar. Okay, now add that particular script and don't forget to change this name. My AVATR avatar. It. Submit. So just make sure the soundboard name is no caps. Okay, my avatar. Now I have created the script. Now we need to uh, assign the script to the campaign in which the agent logs in. Go to your campaign detail view, search for the word script. Okay, here's the script. So it will display the script which I created right now and make sure this one file. Step 6, add the script created in step 5 in the campaign where agent logs in. Next, enable get call launch to script in same campaign so that agent can see the soundboard immediately the live call received. Next, enable the agent panel full view under the user groups so that the soundboard panel will be fit to window. Let's jump to my live VC dial and finish step 6 and live demo of soundboard. The uh, campaign, so enable the script, then get call launch to the script, the one, then scroll down, submit, then enable the full view, go to your user group, and whichever group the agent logs in, click on the group, then enable the agent full screen. Yes, then submit. Fine, now we are going to log in as an agent, make sure the soundboard works perfectly. I'm going to click on the agent panel. I'm using my user 1001. Test, submit, 1001, again the same password. I'm selecting the campaign, submit. And I answer the call. Okay. So you can test the soundboard uh, without getting a live call. You can go back to the agent screen, click on the script, and press the refresh button. If you get this menu, you are successful. Now you can check by clicking any audio file. So similarly, I can click it. So I can click any file. Uh, I can stop this file immediately. Like if you want to stop the file immediately, I can click on this particular link. So click on other menu. Great. Hope you got the idea how to create the. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you like this video, subscribe, like, and share. Leave you comments. Catch you, with yet another video. Bye bye.